draw with Cardiff did the same for them. Jimmy Gilligan was on target yet again for the Bluebirds with Paul Rayner replying for the home side. But the same player was also involved in an incident with Terry Boyle which resulted in the city captain being sent off. So all in all a very eventful game with 9,201 people turning up to make it the biggest crowd at the Vetch this season. There were 14 points between the two teams when they went into the game, but that sort of statistic doesn't count for much in the clashes between Swansea and Cardiff. And when Paul Wheeler robbed Dudley Lewis to feed Kobeta, the cross dropped nicely for Jimmy Gilligan to head past Lee Bracey. The 21st goal of the season for the big centre forward, left unmarked for this one, with the ball going over Alan Mill to give him the kind of chance he doesn't usually miss. So Cardiff in the lead after just six minutes, on a ground where they haven't won a league fixture since 1959, and looking a good bet to end that 30-year wait. But then came the incident that changed the course of the match. Terry Boyle challenged Paul Rayner as the striker screened the ball, and the scuffle between the players ended with the defender seeming to stamp on the centre forward. Boyle claimed he'd been interfered with as well, and to be fair, the Swansea players didn't appear to feel it was all that serious, only for referee Paul Dirk in a Dorset to take a different view. City's captain obviously in deep trouble, and by now it was all a case of the colour of the card he'd be shown. And luckily for him, it turned out to be a red one, and that was that. Terry Boyle sent off, and Cardiff left to survive for more than an hour with ten men. When you do look at it again, it's not easy to see that too much damage was done. City manager Frank Burrows later accused Rayner of being equally to blame for what happened and of making too much of any contact that did take place. But in the meantime, Cardiff had to get on with things. That's just what they did. And in fact, when Paul Wheeler went through on his own, he almost made it 2-0. The forward did well to keep his head before playing the ball into the middle, only for Paul Wimbledon to miss the target under pressure. So, Swansea still only one down, and six minutes into the second half, came the equaliser. Paul Rayner into the action again, and finding the net for just the third time this season. The cross came in from Tony Hutchison out on the left, with George Wood a little unlucky to see his punch go straight to the Swansea player, who hit his shot really well to beat Steve Linex, doing his best to cover on the line. You had to fancy the Swans to go on and win after that, but Cardiff showed plenty of spirit and certainly deserved the share of the points. As the Swans and Robins promotion hopes.